This is 1969 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 65 Red. Although uncirculated, it's not the high-end grade, or condition rarity for the issue. So what makes this scent so valuable then? It's highly elusive coin because of missing initials of the engraver on the reverse, to the right of memorial. Otherwise called no FG scent. This error scent was sold for $505.25. Number 6. This is 1956 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67. Elusive 5 cent piece with 5 full steps according to NGC. The 1956 D poses a challenge for advanced registry collectors, as full steps examples are scarce, and they are rare and high grade. The present coin is the sole finest example at NGC, and it is rivaled only by one other coin in this grade at PCGS. Delicate champagne toning complements satiny luster and sharply struck design elements. It was sold for $1,440. Number 5. Here is 2002 S Proof Roosevelt Dime with Reverse Die Cap. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. A fascinating error, and one of the rarest die caps showcased at Stax Bowers. The reverse impression is razor sharp within the base of a shallow cap, the planchet freeing itself, or being removed, from the reverse die after only a few additional impressions, likely one or two. The other side of this cap also exhibits a razor-sharp strike, from the obverse die. Both sides are brilliant with deeply reflective fields supporting frosty design elements. It was sold for $3,360. Number 4. This is 1942 Lincoln sent in PR66 condition. Very nicely impressed and kept proof penny with ultra cameo contrast. According to NGC, 1942 was the final year in which proof coins could be ordered as singles, and sales of the sent out paced complete proof sets by more than 10,000 pieces. This is the more readily available of the 1936-42 issues in top grades, and it is also the one most likely to be seen with varying degrees of cameo contrast. This one was sold for $4,387.50 with buyer's fee. Number 3. This is 1970 D. Washington quarter in MS 68 plus condition. Attractively toned modern rarity in that fine grade. The great MS 68 plus stands for Mint State 68 plus, which is a high grade designation for coins. Mint State grades refer to coins that have never been in circulation, meaning they are in the same condition as when they left the mint. The numerical grade scale typically ranges from 1 to 70, with MS 68 plus being an exceptional grade. Coins in this condition are considered nearly flawless, with only very minor imperfections visible under magnification. This specimen fetched a sum of $9,281.25 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 2. And this is 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime in PR68 condition. Candard practice was to place the mint mark on the reverse of branch mint coins until 1964, with only a few exceptions. However, beginning in 1968, mint marks were moved to the obverse, usually near the date. In 1968 and a few again in various later years, the S mint mark was left off of proof dies. The key is that those were proof-only issues that were sold as part of complete proof sets. There have probably been instances of mint marks left off of business strike dies, but how would you know? The first no S proof coins were the dimes of 1968. This highly sow-after specimen was bargained for $35,250. Number 1. And this is 1915 Lincoln sent in PR67 red condition. According to NGC, this date is one in which sharply struck currency coins are often mistaken for proofs. A touch-up of the obverse master hub resulted in greater detail than seen in earlier Lincoln sense, and a circulation strike from fresh dies is nearly equal to a proof. Despite this improvement, sales of proof sense continued to slide, and fully red gems of this date are very rare. NGC certified just 5 specimens in this grade with none finer. It was sold for $132,187.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.